Hello students, welcome to Maths class. In chapter 8, Quadrilaterals, today's topic is exercise 8.1. We know about quadrilaterals and their elements. We have learned types of quadrilaterals and their properties. We proved angles and property of a quadrilateral and also other theorems related to parallelogram and properties of a parallelogram. We have worked example problems related to it. Now let's solve exercise 8.1 based on it. Exercise 8.1 The first problem. The angles of the quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 9 is to 13. Find all the angles of the quadrilateral. So ratio of all the four angles of the quadrilateral is given to us. And we need to find the value of all the four angles of it. Solution. Given the ratio of angles of the quadrilateral is 3 is to 5 is to 9 is to 13. To find all the angles of the quadrilateral. Now to solve, let's assume the angles of the quadrilateral to be 3x, 5x, 9x and 13x. So solution, let the angles of the quadrilateral be 3x, 5x, 9x and 13x. Therefore, 3x plus 5x plus 9x plus 13x will be equal to 360 degree by angles and property of a quadrilateral. So adding 3x plus 5x plus 9x plus 13x, we get 30x. So 30x is equals to 360 degree. So x is equals to 360 degree by 30. Therefore, 0, 0 gets cancelled. 3 twelves are 36. Therefore, x is equals to 12 degree. This implies 3x is equals to 3 into 12 degree, which is equals to 36 degree. 5x is equals to 5 into 12 degree, which is equals to 60 degree. 9x is equals to 9 into 12 degree, which is equals to 108 degree. And 13x is equals to 3 into 12 degree, which is equals to 156 degree. This implies the required angles of the quadrilateral are 36 degree, 60 degree, 108 degree and 156 degree. So given the ratio of angles of the quadrilateral, we could find the measure of each angle of the quadrilateral. Now moving on to second problem. If the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal, then show that it is a rectangle. That is, in a parallelogram, if the diagonals are equal, then we need to show that it is a rectangle. Solution. Given ABCD is a parallelogram in which AC is equals to BD. That is, diagonals are equal. We need to show that ABCD is a rectangle. Solution. We know that a parallelogram in which one of the angles is 90 degree is a rectangle. So we need to show that one of the angles is 90 degree. Solution. In triangle ABC and triangle BCB, AC is equals to EB given diagonals are equal. AB is equals to DC. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Then BC is equals to CB common. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB by SSS congruence rule. This implies angle ABC is equals to angle DCB by CPCT. Let's take it as equation 1. Now, AB is parallel to DC and BC is the transversal. Since ABCD is a parallelogram, therefore, angle ABC plus angle DCB is equals to 180 degree. Allied angles are supplementary. Let's take it as equation 2. That is, twice angle DCB is equals to 180 degree. Since angle ABC is equals to angle DCB. That is from equation 1. So angle DCB is equals to 180 degree by 2. Therefore, angle DCB is equals to 90 degree. So, ABCD is a parallelogram in which one of the angles is right angle. Thus, ABCD is a rectangle. Now, let's solve problem 3. 
so that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other at right angles, then it is a rhombus. So taking a quadrilateral in which diagonals bisect each other at right angles, we need to show that it is a rhombus. So given ABCD is a quadrilateral in which diagonals AC and BD bisect each other at right angles at O, we need to show that ABCD is a rhombus. We know that rhombus is a parallelogram in which all the angles are equal. So here we have to show that our ABCD is a parallelogram and then all the sides are equal in it. We know that in a quadrilateral if diagonals bisect each other then it is a parallelogram. We have a theorem. So the solution in quadrilateral ABCD diagonals bisect each other. Therefore ABCD is a parallelogram. In a parallelogram opposite sides are equal. So this implies AB is equals to DC and BC is equals to AD. Take it as equation 1. Now in triangle AOD and triangle AOB, BO is equals to BO, AC by 6, DB, angle AOD is equals to angle AOB, which is equals to 90 degree. Since AC is perpendicular to BD and AO is equals to AO, which is common. Therefore, triangle AOD is congruent to triangle AOB by SAS congruence rule. This implies AD is equals to AB by CPCT. Let's take it as equation 2. So we have AB equal to DC and AD equals to BC. But AB and AD are equal to each other. So from equation 1 and 2, we have AB is equals to BC, which is equals to CD, which is equals to DA. So ABCD is a parallelogram in which all the sides are equal. Thus, ABCD is a rhombus. Now let's go for the next problem. Problem 4. Show that the diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angles. That is, we need to show that in a square, diagonals are equal, they bisect each other and are perpendicular to each other. Solution given ABCD is a square, its diagonals AC and BD intersect at O. To show AC is equals to BD, AC bisects BD and AC is perpendicular to BD. Now first to show that AC is equals to BD, that is diagonals are equal, let's take uh, two triangles which include these diagonals and prove them they are congruent. So by CPCT we can show that AC is equals to BD. So for solution in triangle ABD and triangle BAC, AB is equals to BA common angle. DAB is equals to angle CBA, which is equals to 90 degree, since each angle in a square is 90 degree. And AD is equals to BC, all the sides of a square are equal. Therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC by SAS congruence rule. This implies BD is equals to AC by CPCT. So we prove that diagonals are equal. Now, since ABCD is a square, it is also a parallelogram. And diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. We have a theorem which states this. Therefore, AC bisects BD. This implies OA is equals to OC and OB is equals to OD. Again, in triangle AOB and triangle AOD, AO is equals to AO common, OB is equals to OD root, and AB is equals to AD. All the sides of a square are equal. Therefore, triangle 
AOB is congruent to triangle AOD by SSS congruence rule. This implies angle AOB is equals to angle AOD by CPCT. But angle AOB plus angle AOD is equals to 180 degree linear pair. That is twice angle AOB is equals to 180 degree since angle AOB is equals to angle AOD. So angle AOB is equals to 180 degree by 2. Therefore angle AOB is equals to 90 degree. This implies angle AOB is equals to angle AOD which is equals to 90 degree. Thus AO is perpendicular to BD. That is AC is perpendicular to BD. Thus diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angles. Now let's look into fifth problem. Show that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal and bisect each other at right angles, then it is a square. This is the reverse question of the previous one. Here, we need to show that in a quadrilateral if the diagonals are equal and bisect each other at right angles, then the quadrilateral is a square. The solution, let ABCD be a quadrilateral in which AC and BD are its diagonals. We know that diagonals bisect each other in a parallelogram. Since in the given case, diagonals bisect each other, therefore ABCD is a parallelogram. Now, it is also given that diagonals bisect each other at right angles. So, ABCD is a rhombus. But it is given that diagonals are equal here. But diagonals are not equal in the case of a rhombus. This implies ABCD is a square. So, in a quadrilateral, if diagonals are equal and bisect each other at right angles, then it is a square. Now let's go for sixth problem. Diagonal AC of parallelogram ABCD bisects angle A. Show that it bisects angle C also and ABCD is a rhombus. Solution given ABCD is a parallelogram and AC bisects angle A that is angle 1 is equals to angle 2. We need to show that AC bisects angle C, that is angle 3 is equals to angle 4 and ABCD is a rhombus. Now for solution, since ABCD is a parallelogram, AB is parallel to CD and BC is parallel to AD. Now AB parallel to DC and AC is the transversal. Therefore, angle 1 will be equal to angle 3. Alternate angles are equal. So let's take it as equation 1. Also BC is parallel to AD and AC is the transversal. Therefore angle 2 is equals to angle 4. Alternate angles are equal. Let's take it as equation 2. But AC bisects angle A. Therefore we have angle 1 equal to angle 2. Let's take it as equation 3. Now Angle 1 is equals to angle 3. Angle 1 is also equal to angle 2. Also, angle 2 is equals to angle 4. So, we can say that angle 3 is equals to angle 4. So, from equation 1, 2 and 3, we have angle 3 is equals to angle 4. This implies AC by 6 angle C. So, we prove the first part. Now, moving on to the Second, now to show ABCD is a rhombus. Now in triangle ABC, angle 1 is equals to angle 4. That is from equation 2 and 3. Now here you can see in equation 2, angle 2 is equals to angle 4. And in equation 3, angle 1 is equals to angle 2. So we have 
angle 1 is equals to angle 4. This implies, this implies BC is equals to EAB. Side opposite to equal angles are equal. Let's take it as equation 4. Now, since ABCD is a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. This implies AB is equals to CD and BC is equals to AD. Let's take it as equation 5. From 4 and 5, here again, AD is equals to DC and BC is equals to AD. But BC and AB are equal to each other. So, from equation 4 and 5, we have AB is equals to BC, which is equals to CD, which is equals to DA. So, ABCD is a parallelogram in which all the sides are equal. Thus, ABCD is a rhombus. Now, moving on to next problem. Moving on to the seventh problem. ABCD is a rhombus. Show that diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C and diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. Solution given ABCD is a rhombus and its diagonals AC and BD. To show that diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C and diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. Solution ABCD is a rhombus. Therefore, all the sides of a rhombus are equal. That is, AB is equals to BC, which is equal to CD, which is equal to DA. Let's take it as equation 1. Now, in triangle ABC and triangle ADC, AB is equals to AD from equation 1. BC is equals to DC from equation 1 again. Also, AC is common to both the triangles. That is, AC is equals to AC common. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC by SSS congruence rule. This implies angle BAC is equals to angle DAC and angle BCA is equals to angle DCA. That is by CPCT. This implies angle 1 is equals to angle 2 by CPCT and angle 4 is equals to angle 3 again by CPCT. Therefore, AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. Now let's show diagonal BD bisects angle B and angle D. So again, in triangle ABD and triangle CBD, AB is equals to CB from equation 1. Again, AD is equals to CD from equation 1. That is, all the sides are equal in a rhombus. Again, BD is common to both the triangles. So, BD is equals to BD common. Therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD by SSS congruence rule. This implies angle ABD is equals to angle CBD. That is angle 5 is equals to angle 6 by CPCT. Also angle ADB is equals to angle CDB. That is angle 8 is equals to angle 7 by CPCT. This implies angle 5 is equals to angle 6 by CPCT and angle 8 is equals to angle 7 by CPCT. This implies BD bisects angle B and angle D. So we proved in a rhombus ABCD, diagonal AC bisects angle A and angle C and diagonal BD bisects angle B and angle D. That's all for now students. Let's solve the remaining problems of exercise 8.1 in our next class. Till then, take care students. Thank you.